Hi, uh, this is Jan Beta. Um, I made a video about uh, all these smartphones I got, and I mentioned I already mentioned this one in the last video, which is a really nice phone, which has a little problem. Let me turn this on. The problem with this is um, that it is locked as you should do with uh, phones uh, yeah, you always should have some kind of uh, pin protection on your phone because nowadays these smartphones just contain a lot of data about you and um, yeah you basically should lock this uh, these and the problem with this is um, I can't use it because it's locked and if you use the normal software that comes with it to um, try to uh, reset it to factory defaults um, it doesn't work it basically is reset then but the passcode is still live and I don't know which passcode this is basically so I'm gonna try to um, flash the firmware in this and see if I can circumvent this um, passcode th that way. So what I'm going to do now is to find the um, flash tool. The address is quite easy, it's flashtool.net which seems to be the official site and guess what? There's also a Mac OS X link. Yeah, this seems to take a while. So I'm going to open another tab here. And um, the firmware I get from this site, XperiaFirmware.com. There is a little link that says Xperia Z1 or Z1, as some of you might prefer, um, the compact, that's exactly the one I have. Um, I have the um, compact D5503, so I'm just going to look around, and here's the download link for the latest Android 5.1.1, which is quite a new version, I think, think I just use that and oh it's a deposit files link that's not very nice but yeah, basically you get um, the firmware so here we are um, the flash thing. So I have to select flash mode here, click on OK, and now it asks me for the um, location of the firmware I want to flash. I have it in my downloads folder, so I just click on downloads, and it just wants the location, so I click on open. And here we have the Sony Xperia Z1 Compact DD5503 and there's the firmware so you click on the last item here um, what you have to do in order to circumvent the pin code is this section here you have to wipe the user data and you can also wipe the apps log which will um, basically reset Android to factory and then we just uh, click on flash and it basically tells you what to do it's preparing the files and then it tells you um, how to uh, which button to press on your phone to put it in flash mode and then it just flashes the firmware you selected on it and that's it. If this um, goes right, um, you have a fresh new firmware on there. Um, by the way, these um, Xcode errors here, 
this is not very nice because I don't have the Xcode um, stuff on my Mac OS here. Um, so basically the, the Flash tool can't update its uh, device drivers, which is not that bad because this is a fairly recent version. Um, but if you want updated drivers, you should uh, install the Xcode stuff if you are on a Mac, um, which is free. So here's what, what you have to do. Unplug the device, power off the device, press the volume down button and hold it and plug in the USB cable. So it goes into flash mode and um, basically the flash, the flashing process just starts. You put this into flash mode by first turning it off, I think. Turning it off, I'll shut, um, that's what turning it off means in German. And then you press the um, loudness button, which is here. You press the loudness down and insert the USB cable at the same time. <laughs> And it works. So I'm basically back to zero here, I think. And it's a, uh, yeah, it says welcome. And it's in German as well. Seems to be at least Android 5, as far as I can see, and the, the Sony version of it. Um, yeah, so that's basically, that does a trick. Flash the firmware, and you can circumvent the um, pin code on these things. Mm. Yeah, so I have a little thing to play with. Uh, maybe I will try to um, install the Cyanogen mod on this, which is a bit uh, more polite than the um, the Google stuff, which is um, mixed with uh, some Sony stuff on this one. I think it's a um, Sony branded Android um, flavor. So I just think, um, yeah, I would just have a have a look around here and see if this works at all, and then I maybe make another video where I install um, the Cyanogen uh, mod on this one. So yeah, thanks for watching. This seems to be working, and I'm in. I have something to play with. I'm not the Android guy, so I, yeah, I'm quite a noob uh, with Android. And maybe I'll make some videos or at least one more video on this, how this all works out for me. And uh, yeah, basically for now, thank thanks for watching. I'm Jan Beta. If you like this, um, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Comment on this if you have any uh, Android related uh, noob bashing to do. Uh, just go ahead. Um, yeah. I don't, at least I don't claim to be an expert on this, but this seems to have worked. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I'm Jan Beta. Bye.